Now, the golf swing is typically taught and learnt in a very technical way, and that's okay, and a lot of times it's necessary, but it's also slightly distracting and prevents a more natural and effective way to learn. So if you've been playing the game for long enough, then you would have collected a lot of information, a lot of separate different pieces of information, which is asking you to make certain moves within your swing, lots and lots of separate moves. The issue with that, though, is at which point you put all that together to make one complete and flowing movement. So before we get into um, breaking the swing down a little bit and thinking about some of the other concepts of the swing, let's be very clear on the big picture. Let's understand what the motion of the club is. In our swing, the club head is making a very wide and flowing circular motion. And if you can keep your attention on the club head and making that big circle, you'll probably find that some of the other more detailed areas of the swing start to happen out of your awareness. Now before we start going into some of those details, let me give you a fantastic drill that's really going to help you develop that circle. So typically then, the swing is tilted over and is on an angle something like this. The exercise I'm going to show you actually changes that angle of your circle and brings it up to horizontal. So the club head is now at chest height and I'm going to be making some very horizontal circles. And the idea behind that is that at chest height, we are much more aware of the motion of the club head and we can really see and feel that circular pattern more easily. So we'll start with the club head at chest height. You'll see that my feet are shoulder width apart and my hands are down there at waist height. So that kink from my arms to my club head is about matching up our setup position. So from here then, your challenge will be to have that club head go around a circular arc and not have the club go up or down at any point in the swing. We do need to make it as much like the normal swing as possible, so we're allowing our shoulders to turn, and of course as we swing through, we're turning all the way through and even moving the feet the way that you would do in the swing. Now the motion we're making up here is almost exactly the same as what happens in the swing, it's just at the wrong angle. So once you've made a few repetitions at this stage and you're comfortable with your motion, we now need to tilt it down closer to the ball. But we are going to have a transitional stage. So what we'll do now is we'll tilt the club down so it's just below my knees and we'll make a few more circles. Of course, now we're, we're tilted a little bit lower down. The circle is going to be a bit more vertically tilted. Now at this second stage, you can also start to speed up the motion so it starts to flow a bit more like the golf swing. Now you can really feel what a complete circle should be like. Let's now take it all the way down to the floor to the more natural golf swing angle. So now I'm tilted back to the floor. My circle is on a more up and down swing plane. Put some time in doing the exercise and what you'll find is the more detailed aspects of your circle start to happen for free. All the while, all you're doing is thinking about the motion of the club head.